A summer getaway was just what Janet Nevitt and Bob Young of Indiana needed. Well, I had had a vacation for a while and I thought I want to go to the beach this year finally. Her friends' rave reviews of Gulf Shores made their decision easy until the BP oil spill made headlines. We questioned whether we might come down or not or just cancel, maybe go, you know, somewhere else. It kept track, you know, on the internet, but it didn't look that bad. The Gulf Shores Convention and Visitors Bureau created a website called thebeachfacts.com. It's one of the many resources that allowed Nevitt to monitor daily beach and oil conditions. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday, July 21st and I'm Sally Ellis with your daily beach update. And it ultimately persuaded her to keep their reservation. Heard a lot of feedback in general. And the Bureau's Kim Chapman says that's exactly what it's intended for. It has been a challenge to promote our destination in light of the oil spill. Our number one attraction in the state is our beaches and they're in a condition that is not what all of us expect and would like to see them in. And by the looks of the sand here on this beach, everything is seemingly clean. Unfortunately, that's not the case. These double red flags flying here above me mean no one's allowed in the water. The Alabama State Department of Health issued the warning when oil hit the shore in early June. And then see down there, it's got the outrigger. But it's not keeping these Hoosiers or some braver young swimmers from getting their feet wet. So it hadn't been a detriment to anyone. They've done such an excellent job. If, it, if there was here, they've cleaned it up. We can't tell. And it wasn't until we met up with the couple they saw their first sign of tar balls. Probably walked over 100 of these. Of the 4.6 million tourists Gulf Shores hosted in 09, less than half are forecasted to return. Last July, the city's 16,000 condos hit 90% occupancy, but this year most are sitting dark. Something Chapman says shouldn't be the case. Some of the media outlets have not done us any favors by um, showing those scenes in Louisiana, which are very unfortunate for them. That is the situation that is happening there, and it is very different along the entire Gulf Coast stretch. Nevin and Young's long weekend turned out much better than anticipated, and even though their visit fell amidst the worst oil spill in U.S. history, Nevin says it just wasn't bad enough to stay away.